Hello everybody. Our next camera is an Ansco Mimar. It's a Type 1. Uh, they were originally released in 1953 and ran till about 1958. There was some overlap with other models. This is the uh, base model. It was made in West Germany. It's the same camera as the Agfa Silet. Uh, the only real difference is that the focusing scale is in feet on the Ansco and it's in meters on the Agfa. Uh, it has an Agfa Apotar lens. It's a three element 45 millimeter lens. The aperture goes from f3.5 to f16. Close focus is about three feet hair under a meter. It's in a Gauthier, Gauthier, G-A-U-T-H-I-E-R, Pronto shutter. The Pronto is kind of their lower end shutter. Goes from 1 25th of a second to 1 200th of a second plus bulb. It does have a self timer. Um, this one's a little bit sticky, so I don't use it. It's good for about nine seconds uh, if it's working properly. They had various uh, lens and shutter combos over the life of the camera. Um, they had the Pronto, the Prontor. I'm blanking on the other one. I'll put some text here. Anyway, up to about a 500th of a second. Uh, it's a simple zone focus viewfinder camera. Uh, the eye piece is pretty small, but if you get it right up next to you, even wearing glasses, it's nice and bright and clear. Um, there's no marks in the viewfinder, but what you see is a decent representation, at least in my experience, of what the frame is going to cover. Um, there's a nice uh, depth of focus scale between the focus and the uh, shutter. It has a cold shoe or accessory shoe um, and then on the body rather than on the shutter itself it does have a PC sync. Now this isn't X sync so I for flash shots I used 1 25th of a second but most of them were underexposed and I should have used you know bulb and open flash but the reason for that is since this is made for flash bulbs I mean if you graph um, you know they ignite and then they get to their brightest and then they kind of taper off so there's a little bit of a delay it hits the flash sync first so that the shutter being fully open and it's a leaf shutter the shutter being fully open will match the peak of the flash bulb whereas X sync is pretty much instantaneous so what's happening is it hits the uh, flash and an electronic flash it's pretty much done by the time the shutter is reached fully open. So anyway, I just have to remember that, that this isn't set up for X-Sync. And if you have a shutter that has X and M, that's why you have two different settings. Even with a leaf shutter, the uh, delay needed for a flash bulb, you don't need that for the X-Sync. So that's why you have those two different settings. Um, these pictures are back from in June. We were up in Del Norte, Colorado, and my wife and I did a hike at La Garita Arch. And it's kind of funny, this, this sequence right here, I was bracketing because it was pretty bright sun and this shutter only goes to a 200th of a second. So I caught some climbers up silhouetted in the arch and just below it here. So that came out kind of cool. Oh, it's got that rather than the rewind because it doesn't have a crank. It has a little handle on the side. Pretty normal to load the film. Rewinding's a little bit of a chore because of the wheel. Um, it does have a film reminder. There's no meter, so that doesn't really do anything. Tripod socket 
rewind button. Pretty normal. That's it. It's a pretty simple camera. This one's in good shape. Uh, I did have a lot of fun shooting it. I used the uh, some of the Plus X that my wife found at a uh, thrift store. Pretty old, so I'm rating that at about ISO 32. Seems to be about right. So I'm on to the next camera. Anyway, I will see you then.